Yevon Chakov is a volunteer aid worker who spent most of his life travelling to the world's war zones helping civilians in need. But a decade ago, war erupted on his own doorstep in Ukraine's eastern Donbass, and it never went away. As 2024 approaches, it's a reminder that for millions in eastern Ukraine, the conflict has rumbled on since 2014, long before Russia's full-scale invasion in February last year grabbed the world's attention. I'm staying here because I feel responsible for the people here in this region. Right now, I think it makes the most sense to help my own people. The 54-year-old now delivers aid around the town that he grew up in. The once sleepy tree-lined town of Chasivya is so close to the front line that many of its buildings have been destroyed and the sound of artillery fire and cannons punctuate the air. Following Ukraine's popular uprising and the toppling of pro-Russian President Viktor Yanukovych, Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. Proxy forces aided by Moscow then captured land in Ukraine's east, declaring People's Republics in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Yevin says that when the war broke out in 2014, many doubted Ukraine and its military capability. He says all that changed in February 2022. When the full-scale invasion started, I was so surprised by the patriotism. It's not that I wasn't ready for it, but still, I didn't think thousands of people would join territorial defence units. But, he says, the optimism is fading. I am currently pessimistic, although a year ago I was optimistic, because I see the actual price we pay. And, I apologise if this doesn't sound patriotic, but I measure the price of every liberated square metre by the tens, hundreds or thousands of lives that were lost for it. The UN Human Rights Office has estimated that more than 14,000 military personnel and civilians have been killed in eastern Ukraine between early April 2014 and the end of 2021.